Well, Hammy, first week of the season in the books. How do you reflect on the first three games? A uh, little bit of a roller coaster, as, as most new seasons are. Um, I think it's always difficult, and you, you see games, and you've watched a lot of games this weekend, where like the cohesion, the togetherness, and you're still finding out things when real pressure cooker comes. Pre-season's all well and good, and you can have great pre-seasons and not so great pre-seasons, but until league games start, it can always be a, a time where certainly us as coaches see, right, what, what we got, where do we need to strengthen, what areas are we looking at, um, you see things in pre-season that you think might fit. Um, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Um, but th that's what you're always looking at, really. And I, th I thought, um, as ugly as Saturday's game probably was for a spectacle point of view, we had the bit of quality and, and that's what we need to start showing more of. You described it there as a, as a roller coaster, which I think is a good description. Plenty of highs and lows across every season. Has it just been a, a bit of a reminder to everyone that Stay on that even keel because, you know, things will be good. They will be bad. This is what happens. Yeah, well, you didn't see any at staff running around with the tops off after we won in Derby City Centre Saturday night. So you won't see us on Tuesday night when we lose being in, in dumps. That's it. Look, there's going to be... A, we, we're not going to win every game from now until end of the season. And if we, if we do, great. You might see me in Derby without my shirt on. Um, however, it, it, it's football. You're going to lose games... For me, it's the only sport where you can be the better team, as we saw back end of last season quite a lot, and not not win or lose a game. Like, it doesn't happen in any other sport, really. Um, but we're well aware. We've, we've done this a long time. We, we know what's happening. We just uh, stay calm, always remember where we are, and just keep showing your support. I know it wasn't a, a complete performance at Burton, but it was a 3-0 win. W what were you pleased with? What are you still looking to work on after that? Uh, we're pleased with a 3-0 win, obviously scoring three <laughs> goals, uh, three points. Like, it's always nice to get your first three points. Obviously, we wanted them against Wigan. We thought level of performance was good against Wigan. We just didn't take us chances. Probably weren't as good uh, Saturday and won 3-0. So that probably emphasises the point that I'm making to you, that there's going to be different challenges. There are games where we dominate. And, and, and win by a lot of goals and the games when we dominate and we lose 1-0 and we'll be going, how has that happened? So there's a lot of variables within it. However, we've just got to keep level-headed. Players are certainly level-headed. Um, support were great on Saturday from three sides at stands, which I've never really seen. I've never seen a, a derby goal and away at home end go up as much. Um, but, but just a really good occasion for the club. I know it's a long time since club won at Burton, if they ever have. Um, so great for fans. I spoke to Colin Washington uh, earlier. He got off the mark. So did James Collins. How good is it to have your strikers scoring early in the season? 100%, yeah. You, you want everybody flying. Obviously, Connor, Connor, <coughs> Connor got his goal. Um, we, we need goals in, in the team. And obviously, they're paid to score goals. So that's what we want from them. We want to get them in goal-scoring areas. Collins had a good pre-season, so it was nice for him to get his goal, give him a bit of confidence. Wash, obviously, Waggy got the assist, so it's nice for him. Um, but we know we've got goals in the team. Obviously, we're always looking to add. Um, and any players that come up that make us better, we'll, we're obviously showing firm interest in them. But so far, we haven't found that striker. Now, that's probably credit to ones that we've got in this building. A couple of attacking players that you haven't had so far, Louis Sibley, Tom Barcazen, are they getting closer? Yeah, Sibs is back training again, so which is good. And hopefully Tom should be middle towards end of this week. So they'll be a little bit behind fitness-wise because obviously, as most of fans saw in Spain, as running lads up and down hills, they didn't take part in that. So they're a little bit behind. So we'll need to get them some minutes and obviously work them hard in training, which I know Sib certainly is now, um, to get them up to speed. So they'll hopefully come back into the squad in two games' time, fingers crossed. Another busy week for you, starting with Oxford United on, on Tuesday at Pride Park. What are you expecting from them? They've had a, a good summer. Yeah, good summer, good recruitment, good manager, good management staff. We know them really well. Um, obviously, from their MK Dons times, play good football, want to attack, um, want to get on the front foot, like to have the ball. Um, so it's going to be another tough game, but it's one that we're really looking forward to. Lads have obviously took confidence from Saturday. Um, and we need to make sure that we start winning at home because it, it's going to be key. Uh, make sure that fans are behind us and... They can give a real good account of themselves in what will be a really good game. Two good teams 
trying to win three points and we need to make sure that we come out on top. I know he arrived a, a lot later in, in the season than, than you did here, but do you see Liam Manning in a similar situation to yourselves and that you know, you've, you've both had the summer to make your mark on, on your sides now? Yeah, but it, it can be tough, obviously. You've got, you've got, there's a lot of variables within that, so it, it's easy to say you can change everything that you want. We still haven't changed probably everything we want here. However, um, people are under contracts, there's different people here. There's lots of different circumstances around it. But yeah, he's, he's signed players. We've signed players. I'm sure we'll both sign a few more players before winter ends and um, we'll see then, really. But uh, yeah, they're a good team. They're a team that we, we fully respect. However, we're at home and we want to win and we're on front four and that's where we'll be all season.